Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Julie Powers, and this kitchen is for dancing, but it's also for making yummy treats and delicious recipes. And this is a recipe that I like to have ready to go, especially whenever I have company. Um, this is a really handy thing to have in the refrigerator or in the freezer, and it's a perfect little breakfast or brunch addition. And I like to have them for myself as well for a snack later in the day or uh, something that I can have as a kind of a sweet treat after a meal, um, but it's really delicious. And this is something that you make in the blender. So I'm gonna let our cameraman sort of uh, pan around here with the different ingredients. And what we're gonna use today is two cups of oats. And this is um, gluten-free oats that I get from Trader Joe's, but you don't have to use gluten-free oats. You can just use whatever. We just know that this was made in a gluten-free facility, so it's safe for people that are gluten intolerant, gluten sensitive, or have celiac. Um, two large ripe bananas, all right? So we're gonna put the bananas in first because I have found that when you're using your blender, if you put the, uh, the wetter ingredients in first, that helps it uh, blend together. So I've got the bananas in. These aren't actually large, I wouldn't say. Those were mediums, and uh, but they're gonna be okay. And then we're gonna have two eggs. I use uh, large brown eggs, and I try to get the organic eggs as well. Um, you can use whatever eggs you normally have on hand, but when you're making something that is gonna be a little bit healthier, then you might wanna try to go for the best ingredients possible. Now, cameraman, if you want to kind of pan in on that um, applesauce while I'm washing the egg off my hand, that is actually a substitution. And what this recipe originally called for was one cup of plain Greek yogurt. But I found that when I was experimenting with it, that I liked the unsweetened organic applesauce better. And this also helps to keep it... Um, less animal products. So you already have the eggs in there, but you don't have to have uh, the applesauce. You can use Greek yogurt if you want. And then two tablespoons of honey. So I've got the organic honey here. And you know, whenever you're using honey for recipes that have tablespoons or teaspoons, if you have a honey um, jar or container that has the little squirt top, that makes it so much easier. So, so much easier then scooping it out of the jar. It's so messy to do that sometimes. So uh, I have different honey containers for different recipes. I have a giant container when I'm making stuff that calls for one or two cups of honey. And then I have these smaller containers for things like this. Uh, then we have, let's see, we're gonna put in the oats. And we also have Baking soda, baking soda, baking powder, and sea salt. And then we have a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I use double strength vanilla. And so whenever you do that, you just have to be sure to always reduce it back down. When it calls for like a half of a teaspoon, I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, and the, and the amounts for the baking powder were one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and then a, an eighth of a teaspoon of the sea salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. You can use any blender that you have. I just love my Vitamix though. Come on. Oh yeah, let's put it on the right setting. something. Why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, pulse. <laughs> I'm backwards, that's why.
scrape in the sides the whole time you've got the blender going. When you're using a regular blender, that doesn't happen very easily. You have to stop it, take the lid off. Normally I have this facing me, so it's a little awkward. All right, so this just gets poured into my muffin pans. Now these are actually muffin top pans. And I love these because they, I like the flat muffin top instead of the full muffin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this all up and I wanna show you what I do with the blueberries because I add those in last. Now you can use um, blueberries, you can use cranberries, you can use raisins, you can use chocolate chips. Um, I would recommend the dark chocolate chips and um, all of these are gonna be filled up and I'm gonna put it in the oven for mm, about 15 to 20 minutes on 350 degrees and it'll be fine. And then you just want it to cool a little bit, transfer them to a cooling rack and then you can keep them in an airtight container in your refrigerator or in your freezer. Um, other things that you can add to this, a little pure vanilla, I mean pure orange extract or you can add a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice. You can also use lemon extract or use lemon zest and um, get some really fresh lemon juice in there. Those are all really brightening agents, I think, and it just makes it a little crisper. So you have a lot of options and I hope you enjoy it.